is up guys, my name is Jenkenstein, and today we are going to be playing a little bit of alchemy here. So this deck right here is just an Esper Blink Control deck. Um, centered around the Displacer Kitten and how utterly broken that card is. Um, if you don't know, Displacer Kitten is anytime you cast a spell, you get to flick or something. So it is just nothing but great ETBs, Elish Norn, and Displacer Kitten. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can kind of see exactly what the goal of flickering everything is. Is not a bad starting hand. Let's see what we got going on. Let's see what we're up against here. Uh, Naya. I don't know how much use the cut down is going to be because that's going to be probably churning out some big things quickly. Huh? Well, that is a cut down target. And it stops them from ramping. So I will not complain about that. And there's my kitten. This is just the broken part. Anytime you cast something, you can flicker the oracle and conjure another power nine. The oh, well, I can live. I can live without the oracle. The oracle is a nice to have, but it is absolutely not a must. Uh, do I want to play the kitten out with no protection? No. I am just going to wait and get Elish Norn down. Cause she'll also stop the life gain there. So okay. Then goes mommy. Ready to stop. All your shenanigans dead in the water. Oh, well, I guess I really didn't have to do anything. <laughs> if you rely on ETBs and you don't have any way of dealing with that Elish Norn, yeah, you are you are dead in the water. Okay, so on to the next one. On to the next one. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, that is... Uh, that is actually really not a good starting hand. That, that looks a lot better. I'll send the scroll shift back. This, th this is a broken, broken combo right there. Flicker the Urtai, it gets doubled by the Elish Norn. So you get to counter, or, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just busted. That's probably gonna get cut down. Oh, okay, we're bow mastered. You can't it has to enter the battlefield before you can target it, bro. Let's have it enter the battlefield. There you go. There you go. You figured it out. I keep meaning to craft an ass gold deck. I do want to give it a shot and just see why it's so popular. Uh, 
I'll save that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another Nazgul. I love how everybody keeps complaining about this card, but... It could definitely be a whole lot fucking worse. Yeah, man. Well, that wasn't a bad starting hand. I just don't foresee this being the most successful game I've had with this deck. I would rather destroy one of the Nazgul. Slash you in, deal with the Bowmasters, yeah. Okay. So, destroy you. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. That was a nice run. <laughs> that Nazgul deck just gets aggressive. We're gonna ignore that. I, I went on a run after trying to tweak some things and it did not go well. So I just moved it back to how it was. Because how it was was winning. It, this deck had like a 75% win rate or so before I started trying to mess with it. it it's not a meta busting deck. It, it's not a deck that's going to take you to Mythic. It's a fun deck, though. Yeah, that works. That That is actually a pretty good starting hand there. Mono Black's just tough to play against anyway. Mono Black... My Mono Black control deck has like an 83% win rate. It is just... It, it is oppressive. It's fun, though. Let me tell you, it is fun. Uh, uh, I want to get rid of that now. Yeah, I don't want you to be able to ramp. You're a werewolf deck. I do not want you to ramp. Okay. You I can deal with. Get my power nine. Oh, and now I got one of you to deal with. Fuck you, Helena. That is one of the most annoying cards to deal with in this game. I want the scry. Yeah. I don't really care about the scry. There, there's my land drop for next turn. Uh, I'm gonna have to give you up.
I should have saved that fucking infernal grasp. Alana and Alina is... If you don't have an answer for it, or if you don't have a board wipe to deal with it, yeah. You are, you are not having a good day. Maybe I can draw into something that can deal with it? No, of course not. But... And drop. No, I will swing in with you. This is worth a shot. <laughs> At least I got a blocker or two. Or two. Jesus fuck. I hate the werewolf deck. It, it is, it is. If you like playing aggro, it is your deck. That is for damn sure. Uh, I'm going to view. Pretty sure that's lethal. I'm just going to take it. GG's. It is, is a control deck. It just does not. It does not play well against aggro. I tried running it through historic for a minute, and it would just get wiped out by anything super aggro. I just want one good game here where you guys can see it pop off. Cause well, it's a combo deck. It's a, it's a control combo deck. It might only win you know, 40 50 percent of the time, but when it does win, it is fun. Okay. <laughs> Two infernal grasps. And watch, I'm going to be playing against control. <laughs> it's going to be a mirror. Okay, no. Good. No blue mana. Has me a little concerned. Maybe I can draw into it here. Blue mana? Blue mana? No whammy? Okay. Uh, I don't want you to stick around. But I'm gonna keep the other one for whatever you're ramping into there. Okay, some blue mana would be really nice right about now. Okay. Okay. I'm definitely gonna blue mana, blue mana. I probably shouldn't have kept a hand with no blue mana. Oh, uh, you've got hex proof. There we go. Okay. Um. Shit. Uh, let me get Roscoe down. Let me get Roscoe down. I, I can take the six. I'll take the six. And then next turn I'll be able to start flickering with kitten. And just eat the blocks that way. Okay. I just gotta take the six this turn. I just gotta take the six this turn. Going to do 
Well, I'll end up double spelling. Oh shit, no, just. I'll have to double spell next turn to flip it. Oh. If it wasn't for the hex proof, we'd be okay. Uh, I have to play you. Okay. <sighs> oh crap. Uh, they've got Lisa with the trample. Um uh, I might as well just take it and end it that way. Good sportsmanship. Almost got there this time. That hexproof, that Avacyn. She will get you. She will get you. Come on, let's win one. Let's win one. I swear this deck does not want to be recorded. When I was messing around with it earlier, when I tried making some changes, I was recording that, and that's when I went on that nice little losing streak last time. Uh, no blue mana, I learned my lesson last time. There we go. There we go. One of those earth ties goes back. And there. There we go. All my colors are mana. And there we go. This is the way this deck is supposed to play. This is the way this deck is supposed to play. There's my fourth land. There's my power nine. Let's see. Okay, so, okay, I can live with that. I can also start flickering my kitten to uh, well, flickering with my kitten. There we go. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, no attacks. And then all the infernal grass, probably whatever they play this turn. Because. You know what? Uh, do I want to earth tie? Uh, well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you resolve. But I am going to actually, I'm going to draw a card. I want to draw a card here. Hmm. 
I'm gonna only get die next turn. <clears throat> That's not the card you want to be going after. That's not the engine of this. Uh, but I guess they need an enchantment, huh? Okay. Alright, there we go. One, two... Okay. So... And I can spell. Perfect. So I can herb tie. And then... Okay, perfect. So I can counter whatever they're going to play with the herb tie. Then I can block and flicker. I actually don't care about you if you come in. You're you're not actually a big deal. Uh, but I think I'm gonna counter you. You don't need to be. You still get the card though. <laughs> so and I can cast you to flicker you uh, I'm going to destroy you And actually, I'll get you down so now I can flicker both the Urtai and the Oracle. And, yeah. Welcome to this incredibly broken deck. This this is what this deck is supposed to do. No, no, no. Uh, I'm going to tap you. I am going to flicker you. And I'm going to flicker you. So, another power nine. I flicker the earth high to counter the guardian. Uh, I really don't need more land. But you will help me in my quest to kill all your shit. Uh. So, oh, this works. I'll cut down you. So, I will, I will flicker just the earth eye. Okay. Okay, they saw, they saw where this was going. They, they saw what, what they, they, they saw how when this deck actually does kick off, it is absolutely degenerate. Okay, let's see if we can get one more of these going. Let's see if we can get one more absolutely degenerate <laughs> win going here. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Okay. I have all the colors I need. I really don't like keeping a two land hand. I really don't. But I have some card draw. Ooh, against Bono Red. Okay. So, what does Double Team do? Oh. Okay, I'm going to need to kill you before... You need to go bye-bye now. Okay. Uh, I don't like two swift spears, but uh, at least I've got some draw coming. I got some life gain available to me, so and I can urtai 
So I also helped lock one of them so spears. Play my Rusko, or do I want to flash in an Urtai? I think I'm gonna flash in the Urtai because he can counter. Uh, yeah, I want to counter the fortune coming in. I don't feel great about taking that, but, um... Maybe that might slow him down a little bit here? Okay. So I'd have to double spell to be able to take out a Rusko. I don't think they're gonna double spell there. I just really can't deal with the tap land. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and that took out the Burn is burn. Red deck wins. Red deck wins. That is kind of the one downside to playing Jank is you lose a lot. That that's that's just the nature of playing Jank. You win some, you lose some. Let's get one more game going here, and then I'll do a deck breakdown. This deck actually really doesn't have a whole lot from the Lord of the Rings set. Um, even though I brewed it after it came out. Okay. Alright. And then one of the first cards I hover over is from Lord of the Rings. Okay. I got an Oracle. I've got a kitten. I've got some nice little one land instants. We'll see here. I got a second oracle. You are bent. What color? Or just Celesnia. That is the question. Oh, are you stuck on that, maybe? Okay. Oh, domain, okay. Domain. That makes sense. Okay. Get you down. Oh. Yes, please. Now I can. Now I can start being really degenerate with that oracle. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you do again? Okay, that's you. Oh, uh, I'm gonna swing in first. Ooh, yes, please. 
Oh, shoot. Uh, it's probably going to... It's going to flicker you first, isn't it? Oh, well. Oh, well. It's worth it to get that extra power nine. Uh, and draw. that and I've got thirst for discovery mana so okay okay you are actually not that big of a deal I'll take it. Uh, shit. I really want to have mana up for that. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Again, it's going to flicker it before. <sighs> That's one thing I hate about Oracle Scry there. As soon as I flicker the Oracle with the kitten. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay. Oh yeah, I can I can live with you. I don't really care about that. There's another power nine. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, now I can get my Elish Norn out. And start being even more degenerate. Yeah, I'll fuck you like that. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. And I'll flicker you. <laughs> There's another power nine. And now I get power 18. I can block the biggest, scariest thing. Like the silverback. I'm gonna block the silverback. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so, 
I don't know how much I like that. I need a number of Praetor cards. Uh, but, uh, I guess you're gonna sack a land. And not a creature. Come on, make your decision. I'm guessing you're gonna sock a uh, land there. You got plenty of them. Come on. <sighs> Infernal Grasp would be a really great right about now to deal with that thought, Leah. Yeah? <laughs> Come on. Come on. You can do it. That's your trigger. There you go. There you go. And we got three up in mana. Uh, now I'll block you with that. And then Consider and flicker you. Uh, I actually don't need the Alice Norn anymore, so I'm okay with that. Uh, sure. Sure. Why not? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh no. Well now. Uh -huh. well, it actually really doesn't matter. So I gotta make it through one more turn. I have gotta survive through one more turn. So I got I gotta give up shit. I gotta give up on the kittens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just gotta give up on the kittens. There's just Maybe a tight one. Let me see what I draw into next turn. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll block with you. And so if I draw like an ancestral recall. Beautiful. You are what I need. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to hang on to you until next turn. Shit. Shit. Um. I 
I should have held on. Um, swing in. Yeah, 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 I didn't think that one through. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That that gave you an idea of what this deck's supposed to do. It, it's it's jank. It is fun. It is not intended to be a serious meta changing deck. Um. Yeah. It it is what it is. It's fun though. When it gets going off, like you saw, Rusko actually. Let me let me play one more. Let me see if I can get Rusko to go off. I can always edit out all them losses, right? Okay. Okay. Let's try it here. Let's see what we got. I've got all three colors. I got a couple oracles. Okay. I'll live with it. I'll live with it. And I got a kitten, so I can at least start flickering the oracles. If I get that fourth map. If everything doesn't get. Let's see what they go for. Probably the Elish Norn. Let's, let's see if they let's see if they see the engine there. Get rid of one of the oracles, or are you gonna get rid of the kit? Get rid of one of the oracles, okay? Mm -hmm. We can live with that. Alright, Tiger Speedle. Mono black control, gotta love it. It is exceptionally good at what it does. This is actually my current favorite deck to play. Mono black control. I have a blast with it. Gotta love stopping your opponent from being able to play magic. Yeah, you see the engine there. Yeah, you saw it and you went for it. <laughs> you saw what was coming. Uh -huh. I can play as a tap land. Not a problem. Yeah, I'll scry you to the bottom. <laughs> Let's see what I draw and do with that. <laughs> okay, perfect. Perfect. So I can chuck you. So I can hopefully draw into another land here. Oh. Uh, 
Ouch. Ouch. Mono black control, man, let me tell you. It, it is incredibly good at what it does. But... You can out control mono black control. You're in good shape. If I can only get a kitten to keep my Alice Norn safe. Oof. Oof. <laughs> that was me being a dumbass. That was me being a dumbass. <laughs> I fucked that up. No, I'm just going to. I'm just gonna. I fucked that up. That, that was 100% me. Okay. Okay. So, as you can tell, I am not good at magic myself. But, this deck absolutely can be really good. If it pops off. Where did you go? Rusko, Rusko. When it pops off. Basically, when it pops off, if you have the kitten down, anytime you cast any of the power nine that conjured by the Oracle of the Alpha, including the Moxin, you can flicker the Rusko, which then makes a midnight clock and deals one damage. That gives you another blue mana, which you can then use to cast all these little one and two mana instants. Yeah. It, so, a couple of considers, a couple of cut downs. Four Spirited Companions for that card draw. Also great to flicker. So these, mostly these are here for the card draw and the scry. Um, the tap is nice. Um, it's mostly just their cheap instance. Um, part of me wants to bring this into Historic again and try some more of the cheap one mana instance. Most of the instance that we get are actually coming from the Oracle with those power nine. Um, and then Alish Norn just doubles all the triggers. And. Oh, that's why. I'm a dumbass. And I just recorded all this for nothing. Because that's the. You know what? You know, I'm just going to own this. I see what the issue is. I, I screwed up when I was rebuilding this. And you know what? Why the hell not? I've spent three hours recording this on and off over the last couple of days. I'm just going to post it. So, enjoy.